All right, Wando, cool. All right, I really want to test Ogre Pond versus this. So we're going to go Ogre Pond lead. And then I got to think, what is the other mon that we need to bring with Ogre Pond to get value? It's not Weezing. It's probably Roaring Moon, but I don't want to get intimidated on Roaring Moon. We could go Lecky to pin the Lando even further. I don't think we need that. Heatran, like, is always, like we said, very problematic. Hmm. I know that I'm forcing Ogre Pond in this matchup too, but I still want to try it. I don't want to get intimidated on my Roaring Moon, but I do want to get intimidated on the Ogre Pond slot. So that means that, like, it probably is Flutter, and I would probably just be playing, like, super passive. So, like, I'd have to swap out Flutter first turn, which isn't necessarily wrong or bad. Let's try these. This is my first time actually using the Ogre Pond. So I, even I got to get practice too. But I do think Ogre Pond's good versus their team in a lot of a lot of situations. I think it's good versus Iron Hands. Uh, I think it's good versus Water Pond. I think it's good versus their Landorus. And so let's see. I don't necessarily need Weezing in this matchup, but I still am going to bring it. We'll see how good it ends up being. It might end up being like a fat L. Heatran Lando, cool. This works. So we're going to get the Defiant proc. And that's what we needed. And so now I outspeed their Lando. Once I Terrastalize, and we can pin it. So let's go, Gurpon. Pop the Bonk Hammer. This is going to give me, like, you can see it's going to, I'm already at a plus one for my Defiant boost. And then I'm going to get a speed boost from going into the Embody aspect. I'm going to one-shot their Lando. And then I'm going to do just as much damage as I can to their Heatran. And then Flutter's going to go down, but it's going to put it within range for Roaring Moon to come out and knock off. And if you want to click Heat Wave, you clock Sash. And if you want to click Flash Cannon, I don't think you kill my Flutter. So that's the idea here. We're going to get that big speed boost. And we should be able to Oko their Lando, unless it's a really bulky Lando. So let's go. Bonk Hammer time. Popping it off right now. And we outspeed because he got that speed boost. Let's go. Oh, it lives! Wait, what's the... How, is you, how do you actually live that? I'm actually, like, really very surprised how much bulk you have to have. How much bulk do you have to have to live that? That's so crazy. Because that should KO. Like, I, uh, if, you were, if you're on the calcs, like, it should just be dunzo. Crit Bob Oh, definitely. <laughs> Crit's a 1.5 damage. All right, cool. So you can Heat Wave. It does not matter. Uh, we're just going to run win after this. Heat Wave. Cool. Absolutely fine. Nice. Do we want to bring out Roaring Moon? It's actually a better idea to bring out Weezing right now. But never lucky. You know, we tried really hard to make that work. It didn't work. It's Orb Heatran. Wow. What is up? Not much. We're trying our best to play some Pokemon today. And Orb Heatran has Protect, so they might do that. They could, also, they could also just go Fake Out. I mean, it's fine. I'm going to go Wisp here. And pivot out Flutter for Roaring Moon. Let's go. So right now that uh, Iron Hands um, has a lot of value, but if we can burn it, Roaring Moon can get some stuff done. Hopefully they don't read this and Drain Punch my Flutter slot. That would suck. Flash Cannon's absolutely fine. Yep. Oh, ow. Or p -Tran's such a bully, man. Such a bully. Wisp. Hits, let's go. They're not fake outing. Are you doubling to that slot? Are you a good player? It looks like they are. Holy moly, can I even do anything about that? Heavy slam into the flutter, but you're burned. Doesn't do anything, bro. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let me think about what we do here. We actually tailwind. I know that sounds really, really weird, but we tailwind. So we're gonna go for an acid spray there. Tailwind, lose Roaring Moon, and then bring out Flutter, and Flutter should be able to KO here. Yeah, we also, if they want, if this also, we want them to KO us with Heatran. If they don't, it's not the end of the world. So Tailwind lets us outspeed that Lando with our Flutter. Jerry Punch is fine. Cool. And again, we have to, we have to kill the Heatran with Flutter. I don't know if we can though. I don't I don't actually know if we do. This is gonna get this is gonna get dicey. This one's gonna be close. 
It's fourth resisted, and I wanted them to KO us with Heatran, so they took an extra tick of Life Orb. But we'll see. I think it's still worth it playing this one out, though. Like, what could they have in the back? What could you have in the back? Water Pong, I think, can be beaten by Weezing in some situations. King Gambit is a big jerk. Let's go. Kill this heat tramp, please. It's not like you fourth resist me. Dude, they're thinking about it. They're thinking. Hmm. Come on, kill this heat tramp. Yes! Dude, just like Oko hands with D-Gleam is like the best feeling in the world. It is. It is like the best feeling in the world. Don't say it's not. And I think what they're going to do is they're going to bring out King Gambit Lando and have me locked up with Sucker Punch. But I'm trying my best out here. <laughs> I'm trying my absolute best. So let's see what we can get done here. There's the Lando. No Intimidate. Lando's... He might be within range for Acid Spray. And... For their flutter, okay. Yo, are we gaming? We're thinking about it. So we're gonna lose our flutter, but we're gonna do good damage to theirs. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You can go Fairy Terra? Okay. Watch that like Terra their Lando or something. Yeah, okay, they're going Fairy Terra. Okay. All right. So they're going to be able to kill our Flutter, right? But now this makes our Acid Spray do super effective damage. And I don't think they one-shot our Weezing. I don't. I don't think they do. Look at that damage. That's that big damage. Let's go. All right. So we're going to get we're gonna get absolutely bodied by something here. They just clicked Shadow Ball. That's actually a really good play because now they're locked into Shadow Ball to fight Weezing. Can Weezing eat a Specs Shadow Ball from a Flutter? Maybe. Yeah, I got faith in you, buddy. I got faith in you, Weezing. Come on. If they're, like, Weezing is literally two faces. <sighs> Let's do this, Weezing. Come on. Live this Shadow Ball. Spec Shadow Ball? Dude, I got some Spadef investment here. Yes. Weezing holds. Weezing busted. Better than Fluttermane confirmed. Dude, that's what we love to see. Whew. That game almost got away from us. W stands for Weezing. That's right. Yo, Weezing busted. Take those wins all the way to the I don't bank. necessarily need Weezing here. I think Goth is good enough to deal with the Iron Hands slash Amoongus. Plus, like, Helping Hands is really good. So let's try these. If Ogre Pond doesn't work against this Lando spread, I'm probably not going to keep it. And I'll take requests for Pokemon to use in the PC instead of Ogre Pond. Because I kind of want to use Torkoal. And I think Torkoal, if I put TR on my Goth, would just change how the team looks a little bit. To where they have to respect a very specific playstyle, to where like they have to respect the Torkoal. Decidueye would not help here at all. It has absolutely zero offensive pressure. Um, it adds nothing. It just comes in and dies, right? So one of the reasons why like Ogre Pond's good, it has Defiant. You, know, you can't weed into it as aggressively. Uh, it keeps people off of the Roaring Moon. It has a Sash. It has an above average speed tier. Um, with good support moves slash redirections like Ogre Pond's adding a lot of value um, It's just like I think I usually have to pick between going like an Ogre Pond game and a Roaring Moon game And I feel like you want to use Roaring Moon almost every game with this team Now I don't think real real is a step in the it's too passive to use real I think is this a serious team. This is yeah, I would say it is I'm taking it to a tournament later today Is it smart to use Regilecki on a TR team? Well, you just don't bring Regilecki if you're setting Trick Room Oh, this is weird That's a, they, they pinned us pretty hard. Really weird looking, but I'm doing it. Monk, how goes it? Again, it's hard to know the info about what's gonna happen here. Um, but there's a small chance where this just wins me the game this turn one. This might be playing a bit too risky, though. So they're terraing. Don't really care what they terra into. 
the reason why I don't really like the Ogre Pond here is if I ever want to get the Intimidate boost, I have to like actually lean into like not leading Roaring Moon, and that's like super counterproductive for that what the team wants to do. So let's see. Shadow Ball, they actually outspeed my Flutter. That is very, very bad. And I wanted the Heatran to protect that turn. Just to like scout. So I think it's that's actually super greedy going for just that. Cause like what if I just clicked follow me? That's really weird. No crit, never lucky. Yeah, Heat Wave's the right move there. And let's see. I can't believe our flutters that fast. So I can fake out them right now. Ring Moon's fine. Hmm. Knockoff kills that slot. I'm gonna still go for it. Knockoff would still kill here, I think. I think it does. Unless you swap out Heatran for Lando, but like, I don't know. I might take this team to a tournament, yeah. I took it to a tournament two weeks ago and got top eight. So it's, it's a good team, but it's it's made for open sheet. So like when your opponent has like really weird shit, you know, um, like that last turn, like we don't know what their flutter item is or what its speed is, but like we'd probably be able to tell a lot more about it if we could see the items on their flutter and the rest of their team as well as the movesets. Um, it's looking like specs, but again, them also outspeeding our flutter is kind of weird. Put up them. Uh, we're, the reason why we knock off there, by the way, is to catch a Lando so they can't outspeed us next turn. So like, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna get this Intimidate. And, oh, okay, cool, we'll just knock off your vest. That works for me too. Yeah, close team sheet and OTS, like they're just completely different formats. You know, this team's made 100% for uh, open team sheets, 100%. Heat move again. That works. I'm gonna switch out for Goth next turn. You're gonna fake out this turn. I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't need to be weird. I guess I could protect my Roaring Moon this turn, but we'll see what happens. I should have protected Roaring Moon. It's my fault. I should have. It's a misplay. I'm trying to rush it. <sighs> No fake out though. Uh, who are you fake outing? Are you just drain punching me? It's game over if you just drain punch me, bro. Oh, I can't believe they clicked that. Yeah, good play. I should have trastalized. I should have trastalized. It's no, it's an offline tournament. I have to drive there. Ah, yeah, I should I should have played that more passive. That was super lame for me. I'm trying to rush it, you know. Yeah, I feel like I need something that checks Heatran just a little bit better. And so I'm gonna use Torkoal. I think. I think I'm gonna use Torkoal instead of the Ogre Pond. Because it's just, Ogre Pond's just not cutting it at all. But I want to play one more game with it to see if I can get something done. But it is pretty underwhelming so far. I guess, like, I also looked into making it have, like, Stomping, Stomping Tantrum, but it just doesn't really do it after the Heatran to make all it right, worth cool. it. cool. I'm so happy we're going in against Heart Trick Room because, like, this is a lead I wanted to test Ogre Pond into. Um, you want to go Ogre Pond, Flutter, Roaring Moon, and then I think you want to go Goth. I think you want to go Goth, and we're going to see how this works. This is Dust Clops. This is Dust Clops. But let's see how this one goes. Let's see how this one goes. Thank you to everyone that got gifted a sub by Monk as well. You guys are absolutely amazing. And so this is the last final test. Because, like, if, this, if Ogre Pond doesn't work here, I'm going to run a different Pokemon for the tournament. Because, like, I don't think it's good against Trick Room, but I, I want to see if this lead has, like, value. Okay. That's not the Trick Room I thought. Well, the Dusk Ops doesn't even need to have any investment to eat the Roaring Moon knockoff. So they see what we got here. They see our Sash. They could fake out one. Um... Yeah. 
If you want to take out the Ogre Pump, it's fine. This just stops Heavy Slam. They're going to go Dark Terror on their Dust Cops, probably. I want to see if it's Fire. Fire is really good. See, I could have just Moon Blasted your ass, bro. I just could have went Super Moon Blast activation powers activate. That's fine with me. Now the Dust Cops can't swap, swap when I bring back in my Goth. This is going to do a lot to this hands. Who's just Heavy Slam in this turn? What? Come on, bro. Come on. What is this garbage, bro? What is this? What is this hands? Huh? Oh my god, dude. Never lucky, bro. That sucks. That sucks so much. Alright, we're gonna pin this hands. And then the Dust Cops ain't doing anything. No, you go dark to avoid the Shadow Ball damage. It's not about taunt. Taunt wouldn't. Taunt would still work. Dark only stops Prankster Taunt. So if they're swapping in Roaring Moon, they're good. Oh, they're not. So now their hands is trapped. Cool. Nightshade. Okay. Okay. Nightshade doing a set amount is... Lame. Ow! It does 49 and we're at 50, bro! Come on, I'm so lucky, bro! Alright, so we're gonna swap in the Flutter here. And... I mean, I guess we could fake out. No, we have to fake out the uh, hands just to get it off the board. Ugh. Dude, that's Ogre Pond, dude. Not helping out as much as it needs to. Water can soak the uh, Nightshade. And then they're going to bring out Roaring Moon here. This is where if I had Weezing, I could swap it in to make sure Flutter doesn't take the damage, but I don't. Wisp! That can Willow miss into our goth slot. Cool. So Wisp, Trick Room, Nightshade. There's the big bear. Just want to check turns on Trick Room, too. Okay. Okay, yep. I wonder if I die there. It's fine. Ogre Punk can get foddered. We bring out Goth, have another fake out pin. Even if you're policy proccing, I don't think I'm that scared you can you maybe kill the flutter i guess i don't know it's hard to say but ogre punch go down to a hyper voice wisp is absolutely fine i'll take some free dazzling damage if you're just gonna be handing that out for candy and then we get a fake out pin blood moons okay yeah that doesn't ko so flutter's fine oh my gosh that damage bro Ogre Pond, bro, you needed to take the L. <laughs> you needed to die. It's fine. Switching the Goth. This last turn, TR, right? Cool. And we'll Spike a Shield this turn. And then next turn, we'll have, like, Fake Out, Blanc Hanger. We might lose a Mon next turn. Don't need to swap in the Roaring Wind this turn, because there is a chance they go for a Wisp into the slot. I guess we could have just fodded the Ogre Pond here, but it doesn't really matter. Those, see, you don't want to. See, you don't want to switch from Roaring Wind there. Wisp is good. Next turn, we just go Fake Out, and then we're good to go. Hyper Voice. Is this Throat Spray? I'm gonna see after this turn. So I'm gonna go Fake Out Dust Clops into Bonk Hammer the Ursa Luna. And if they protect, then I Encore the Ursa Luna. And... Hmm. I could just Encore this Dusclops right now. He went for Wisp. I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Totally okay with this. Because we can still Encore like whenever we feel like it into the Dust Cops. We can still Encore it next turn. 
it would encore it into Wisp. Decent damage. We're burned here, but... Oh my gosh, he didn't die! Wow. Is that policy? Holy fucking shit, dude. That's nah, fine. We're good. We're still fine. It was policy the whole time. It was policy the whole time. That's actually fine. These two go down because we just bring up Ring Moon uh, Flutter and win the game. Um, we didn't Terra yet either, so we actually will Terra the Flo the. Actually, did we Terra? No, we didn't. We're gonna Terra the Ring Moon so we don't get killed by Vacuum Wave. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's probably a uh, Vacuum. It's probably like a Vacuum Wave on the Ring Moon though. I'm gonna laugh we get like shadow sneaked by this flutter main bro. So that means the right play is D Gleam still. And then you actually would uh, target the You would target the roaring the sorry the the bear. Because if we target that one, if you shadow sneak my flutter, I'd still be able to kill your bear and then like next turn I just hit the dust claps. Yeah, we're good. And we just want to avoid the uh, vacuum wave potential. Plus two vacuum wave hurts really, really hard. And you can't vacuum wave the flutter. Actually, you can vacuum wave the flutter. Oh shit, did I mess up? I forgot. I forgot the ability. It lets fighting moves hit too, right? Dude, are they good? They can be good. I don't care. Protect? Oh, good boy. Good boy. They're trying to go protect TR. Right? Doesn't doesn't the Mind's Eye let you hit with fighting moves too? Or is it just normal moves? It's basically just scrappy, right? Yeah, it does. It's like a, a better scrappy. I, if they, they, if they would have hit my flutter, I would have lost. With Vacuum Wave. Next turn. Dude, that move is, that ability is so good. Poor Dusclops. If it had Fake Out, dude, that'd be nuts if it had Fake Out. That'd be super nuts. And then NDD, that's fine. So we locked in the right move. Now they can't use Vacuum Wave on my Flutter main. TY, appreciate you long time. Thank you. No vacuum wave into the flutter. Just show me the vacuum wave and just do it. I want to see it. There's the follow me. That it is. Nope, no vacuum wave. Yeet! Roaring moon value. Dude, that was through a rocky helmet. That's nuts. And uh, we take those. Cool. So Ogre Pond did actually work, but I wouldn't say Ogre Pond did anything worth mentioning. So that being said, I think I am probably going to swap out Ogre Pond on this team, but it was fun trying it. It was definitely fun trying it. So this can activate Flutter. It can be a great pivot for Iron Hands, which we didn't actually have like a steel pivot. So that's good. Um, it can be used to activate Roaring Moon... Protosynthesis. It can be used to activate Rotor Roaring Moon Protosynthesis after we've swapped out and used our booster already. So like we can we can actually weed Roaring Moon, swap it out for Torkoal, rebring it back in, still have Protosynthesis, still be able to use Acrobatics. That's cool. That's cool tech. I enjoy that. Um, and then got our orb here. That means the last thing we need to do is put Trick Room on this Goth over Helping Hand. And that will also help our Goth out against other Trick Room teams. So against Into the Arm Rouge, we just Trick Room their Trick Room. Cool. I'm, I'm down. That seems like a great play.